Long-range long range is a great solution for mobility and capturing one asset here or there um, and moving in between those, those positions or those spots. Uh, it does require two shots per asset, so if I want to shoot a location of a tree, I have to shoot it from here and then I have to move at least 20 feet away and then shoot it from another position. It requires more shots, but it's also a much more lightweight setup than range back sight, which requires the true angle, adding a lot of weight um, and a lot of equipment to, to carry around in the field. Range range, it looks more like a standard RTK setup on a range pole with just a, a laser range finder hanging off the side. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go through the setup process for range range. First, we need to mount our arrow gold. Now, a lot of this is gonna look a lot like just a regular RTK rangeable setup, um, where we have the arrow gold mounted up top and the, end, the antenna up uh, near it. So first, let's get our receiver, our pole clamp. Our receiver is already mounted on the bracket and it's already got one half of the antenna cable on it. So I'm going to just pull a clamp on the pole, make sure the button is facing up there. And then I'm going to take this pin, press this button, put, push the pin into the hole, let go of the button, so that's nice and secure. Next, I'm going to grab the antenna. It's got the other half of the antenna cable. Make sure this is this connection is snug. Make sure that connection is snug. And then I'm going to rotate this until it's locked down on the ring. go and then you connect the two BNC connectors pushing them together rotating clockwise until they snap together so that's a standard RTK setup on a range pole um, most of the time this is the way arrow bolts are used sometimes they're 100 feet this way as well um, we're already halfway done so next thing we need to do is we attach the laser range finder to the pole that requires three different components so first, we want our True Pulse 200X, and then we want our another pole clamp, and then this custom bracket for the 200X. First, I'm just going to mount this anywhere on the pole. Doesn't matter; we can adjust it later. Then I'm going to attach the bracket to the 200X. Now this bracket's actually made up of two different parts. Uh, it's a quick release pin. So if your kit came with these two separated, make sure to attach this pin bracket first and then attach the bracket to 200x so these pieces going up need to be on the lens side of the 200x I'm holding it like this mount the 200x like that line up the brass fitting with the threads thread that on nice and snug make sure it's tight and it's ready to be mounted to the range pole now, same way that the arrow gold goes into the pole clamp, you know, through this hole, holding that pin, same way this connects. So, push down on the button, slide that in. Now our 200X can rotate, um, but not this way. So the way I like to have this set up is, I will loosen this clamp. I will actually rotate this rod so that my bubble level is facing me and I'm always on the bipod leg side just real quick there we go and then I adjust this height where I can comfortably see through I don't put it too high or else when you're trying to shoot low shots then uh, you won't be able to look at the range finder um, and then I like to have arrow gold facing me so I can see the lights. So to get ready, just turn on the arrow gold, let it start tracking, and then we have a little bit of setup to do with the true pulse. So on the true pulse, we're gonna look in here, we're gonna go to the menu by hitting mode, and we're just gonna make sure our units are set to meters. Mine already happen to be, but if they were in feet and inches, Make sure to set this to meters and centimeters because that's what the pro is going to be expecting um, from this laser range finder. Second is we need to make sure Bluetooth is on. Now there's three settings for Bluetooth. One's off, on, and encoder. 
for range range, we want it just set to on. So again, press mode, flip till it says BT, and then scroll through till it says on, and hit fire button to lock it in. Last thing we need is a mount for our tablet or phone. So I recommend the RAM mounts for uh, both tablets and phones. Clamp this on the pole, wherever it's comfortable for you. Lock that in, and then we're done. That's a range range setup. Now one last note on bipod legs. For the range range setup, um, I sometimes recommend them, although if you're moving a lot, it can be a little cumbersome. Uh, you can still perform pretty good, accurate offsets with range range setup without these bipod legs. Um, just know that it's gonna be a little shaky. It takes a little bit of practice. So if I take these off, you can see that now I have to balance this while looking through the laser range finder. So it can be a little tricky. Um, if it's, it's too much for you, use the bipod legs at first, to keep it steady, take your shots, um, and it's not that much to move around. But once you get used to it, I think you'll find that getting rid of the bipod legs just makes it a little bit more mobile, um, even if you sacrifice a little bit of accuracy.